Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can create an MSI package or a setup file for Windows desktop applications using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So you can package your applications or Windows desktop application as an MSI using the Visual Studio Installer Pro Project extension. But before we go ahead, please make sure you have all Visual Studio instances closed. So once you've got that bit sorted out, then you can come to this link here. Uh, we come to the Visual Studio Marketplace and you make sure you install the Visual Studio Installer Projects. You download and install it but while you I've, I've already done that so there's no need for that it's a very simple download and installation process right so once you've that bit is sorted out then you can open your visual studio and then we click on the create a new project so once we've got this create a new project bit here then we can type in wpf so we're going to use a WPF to create a C sharp WPF here to create a desktop application, right? So once we have this bit, yeah, we are not going to configure anything. So we're just going to click on the next. So we're going to click on the create as well. Okay, so now we've got the WPF application created. We're not. We're just going to open the the, the main window dot XAML, and we're just gonna add so, something. We're just gonna add this. First, we're gonna add a um, stack panel. So the orientation will be vertical. Horizontal alignment will be center. And the vertical alignment will also be center. So we're just going to set the whole thing to center, right? So once we're done with that bit here, we're just going to add something very simple. So we're just going to add a label. So the content, we're just going to put first content, right? And then the font size gonna make it 26 so that's all we're gonna do uh, we can just put margin five yeah then we put a button so the contents will be click me and the font size we're just gonna make it 27 margin five foreground white background just gonna make a cornflower blue so that's all we're gonna do here for now we're just gonna leave it here with we're not going to do a lot so what we do next is obviously we just collapse the, the wpf application and we right click on the solution right then we add a new project so here we can just type in um, a setup project and we should get the first result as a setup project right here so what we do is we create we click on the create and then here what we do we can set up the we can write in uh, give it a name wpf um, installer something like that or whatever you want to put and then we click on the create so once we've got we've got it created this is what we get so we get this installer created with this folder inside detected dependencies once we actually expand it we've got nothing inside but here we have three folders 
the application folder, the users folder, and then um, the users program menu. So the application folder is your destination folder where you're going to install or copy the entire application. So here you can add all your projects files, right? And then the users desktop. This is this this folder is your desk is your desktop. Here you can put shortcut of application file. And then the users program menu. This is the folder your you, this this folder is your start menu contest folder. Here also you can put shortcuts of application files, help file or any documents. So we just go ahead first by actually create a shortcut in a user's desktop menu. So we right click the user's desktop menu and then we create a shortcut. So this is the shortcut that we create. So once we click on it, we have to cl click on the applications folder that we come inside uh, the properties here, I always create here. We set that to true. And then we click on the, the user's desktop and then we set that to true as well. Then the same as the user's program menu, we set that to true. Yeah, so inside the user's program menu, we right click it and then we add a new folder. So we could just call it WPF1. Yeah. So Inside the WPF one, yeah, we right click it and then always create. We we set that also that we set we also set that to true, and then we right click it and then create a shortcut as well. So what we do next is uh, we actually uh, right <laughs> right click the application folder. And then here, if we look at it, we've got um, the project's output here. Yeah, if we look at it here, we've got WPF up to, and we've got our WPF selected, so that should work out nice. And once we click on OK here, we, as you can see, we've got published item from, from WPF2 active, yeah? So we have two, so we're just gonna remove one, yeah? So what we do next is we actually right click on the installer project yeah and then we actually rebuild it so as you can see here we've got the the rebuild successful so what we do next is we right click on it and then open in folder yeah so if we look at it here once we open it in folder we click on the debug and as you can see here now we've got set up a setup file here of um, application type. So when we click on it here, so there is an error attempting to install WPF installer. So we can look at it here. So the update tile, the, there's some error showing up. So what we do is we're just gonna remove this. Yeah, we're going to remove that bit here and we're going to rebuild it again then we're going to open the folder again so then we click on the setup so as you can see here now we've got the setup wizard open right so what we do is we click on the nest so here we can get we can see where the, the application is being set up yeah so here we or we can actually browse whatever place that we want to set it up right so we click on the next and then next again so we sh so as you can see here now we should get that application being installed right so i just don't want to install it so i'm just going to leave it here now so you can go ahead and build whatever application you want to build and install it using the MSI, right? And Visual Studio 2019. So I'm going to leave the video here. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. 
and have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.